files, programs, documents. It's free and you don't have to open an account. I like to use this program because uh, it's used in a lot of non-English speaking countries so I can get foreign language films and movies. And before we get started I want to remind you that your files are going to be saved in most likely your C drive and they're going to be saved in a folder called incoming but you can change where you want your files to be saved so just remember this after you install it go to options I'm just going to say shared usage anyone that uses my computer can use this program I don't have different accounts for different people that use my computer okay we're gonna go through this wizard and this wizard is gonna try to make it so that we get the best connection possible okay use UPnP it's going to look for the best TCP and UDP number so that other people can connect to my computer quickly and I can connect to their computer quickly. Last time I tried this it couldn't find numbers that worked. It said it failed so maybe this time it's going to fail, maybe this time it's going to work. Okay, it failed. So, um, I'm going to keep going. Uh, if my ISP tries to block or slow down email, yes, I will use that. I want CAT and I want ED2K. finish okay I can look for files right now but when we did that UDP TCP test uh, it failed so we're gonna get a slow connection let me go into options I'm gonna use the test again let me test okay there we go it's successful now why I don't know but it's successful now okay let's connect and let's look for some files you can look specifically for audio files or video files or you can just use the any category which is usually enough uh, let's look for some classical music and let's look for some documentaries What you have to be careful with with email is suspicious files. If if it says it's the Mozart's entire collection and it's only five megabytes, that's a little bit suspicious. And if you download that, it's probably not going to have what it says it really has on the inside. It might be a virus or or something else. So you want to go over here to availability and look for the files that a lot of people have here. Five hundred people. I don't know what that is. BBC documentary, that's kind of vague. How about uh, Rolling Stones documentary? 270 people have that and it's 784 megabytes. That sounds about right about how big the file would probably be. And I'd recommend that you stay with these files that uh, a lot of people have. If you really 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 want a file, okay then try to get it from one or two people. Classical music again looking for anything suspicious 2009 uh, looks like it's a collection of some classical music 700 megabytes 350 people have that chances are 350 people aren't going to download something that that is fake
documentary you can go into transfers and with this program you have to wait in line the longer you stay online the higher up and the rankings you go so in other words it's not easy to just sign on get a file and then log out you have to wait a little bit okay 400 people have that documentary and we're connected to two of them and all these other numbers we're waiting in line we're 13th in line we're 60th in line to connect to that person we're 82nd in line to connect to that person so the longer you wait the more people you'll connect to and the faster you'll download I'm going to show you another website that I go to it's called very CD it's a Chinese website and I'm sure there are websites like this in English you just have to look and the reason I like to use this kind of website is because it has uh, files that a lot of people have and they're not likely to be fake and again I would go to an English website and you could probably find the same sort of thing some of them are mp3 some of them are uh, PDFs 